Alice, a 20-year-old college student living in a small town. Alice was a carefree teenager who loved spending time with her friends. She was a diligent student at school and had dreams of going to college one day. However, Alice's life took an unexpected turn when her parents signed her up for the army without consulting her first. When Alice found out, she was shocked and devastated. She didn't want to join the army. She wanted to focus on her studies and go to college. After her parents broke the news, Alice ran to her room in tears. She cried all night, terrified about what her future held. A week later, the day arrived for Alice to report to the army camp. With a heavy heart, she packed her bags and went to the bus station. Tears streamed down Alice's face as the bus departed. She watched her hometown disappear from view, grieving the life she was leaving behind. Hours later, she arrived at the camp, frightened and unsure of what to expect. Alice hesitated before stepping off the bus, her long hair hanging loosely down her back. She took a deep breath and walked into the camp, trying to stay strong despite her swirling emotions. It was the first day at the camp, around 7 a.m., Alice lined up with the other new recruits, anxiously waiting her turn. She watched girl after girl sit down and have their long locks shorn off by the no-nonsense camp barbers. Finally, it was Alice's turn. She reluctantly sat down in the chair and felt the barber gather up her long, dark hair. The barber commented on how nice her hair was as he roughly secured it in a ponytail. Alice winced as the barber took the buzzing clippers and placed them at the nape of her neck. The clippers roared loudly in Alice's ears as the barber drove them upwards, shaving off inches of her hair. He methodically moved the clippers across her head from back to front, sending locks falling like black snowflakes to the floor. In minutes, most of Alice's hair was reduced to stubble. The barber went over her head repeatedly with the clippers, ensuring every last bit was buzzed down to the skin. Alice's eyes welled up as she saw the pile of shorn hair around the chair. She no longer looked like herself. The barber finished by using a razor to shave off any remaining stubble on Alice's bare scalp. It was done. Alice ran her hand across her smooth, shaved head, mournfully realizing her old life was gone. She stepped out of the chair, a changed person, now just another buzz-cut recruit. Alice stood up on shaky legs after her head was shaved completely bald. She caught a glimpse of herself in the mirror and had to stifle a sob. With her long locks gone, she looked so different. The barber instructed Alice to gather up her shorn hair from the floor. She scooped up the piles of soft, dark hair in her hands, hair that just minutes before had cascaded down her back. It felt like gathering up pieces of her former self. Alice stepped outside, newly shorn head feeling vulnerable and exposed to the cool air. The other recruits waiting in line gawked at her dramatic transformation. One girl with a pixie cut said, It's so weird at first, but you get used to it. Alice managed a weak smile in return. She continued down the row of recruits to where a stern female officer waited to inspect them. Alice swallowed hard and kept her eyes forward as the officer circled, checking that every head was clean-shaven to meet army regulations. The officer stopped briefly at Alice, grunting in approval at her stark buzz cut. Her long locks were gone. Alice mourned their loss, but knew it was time to say goodbye to the past. With shoulders back and head held high, she marched into the next phase of training, embracing her new identity and future in the army. After getting her head shaved, Alice had to finish the intake process. She went to collect her uniforms and standard issue items. It was bizarre seeing herself with a bald head in the mirror as she changed into the combat fatigues and boots. Once the new recruits collected their gear, they were shown to the sparse barracks that would be their new home. Alice was assigned a bunk bed among dozens of others lined up in tight rows. She carefully made her bed, placing the few personal items she had brought with her in the small footlocker beside it. 
Exhausted from the emotional day, Alice laid down on the stiff mattress. She ran her hand over her smooth, shaved head, still not used to the feel of it. In the past, she'd braid her long hair before bed. Now there was nothing left to braid. Alice heard muffled sobs from some of the other girls adjusting to their new reality. She stared up at the bunk above her, and a few tears escaped her eyes, too. But she knew crying wouldn't change things. This was her life now. She had to be strong. As she finally drifted off to sleep, Alice hoped morning would bring some acceptance. She knew army life would be hard, but she wanted to believe she could get through it. For now, she just longed for a dream where she was back home again, before everything changed so suddenly. The next morning, Alice awoke to the harsh blare of a bugle signaling the start of the day. She dressed hastily in her fatigues and combat boots before joining the other recruits to line up for the morning inspection. Alice stood tall as the drill sergeant walked by, inspecting each new recruit. She held her breath as he stopped briefly to glare at her bald head. After a pause, he barked, Trim it shorter! even though not a single hair was left on Alice's scalp. She blinked back tears as he moved on down the line. After a measly breakfast, it was time for the recruit's first full day of training. Alice filed in with the others to the outdoor training yard, the morning sun beating down on her exposed head. She felt incredibly vulnerable without her hair to hide behind. The drill sergeant worked them hard all morning on marches, conditioning drills, and combat maneuvers. Alice was soaked in sweat by midday mealtime. As she gulped down water afterward, another bald recruit gave her a sympathetic smile. It gets easier, she said kindly. Though exhausted, Alice carried on through the grueling afternoon training session. She focused on each task, trying not to think about how foreign and bare her head felt. This was her life now as a recruit. She had to stay strong, taking each day one step at a time. The first week of training was grueling for Alice and the other new recruits. Every muscle in her body ached from the intense physical conditioning. Her shaved head now had a permanent layer of stubble, since she was only allowed a few minutes each morning to buzz it with clippers. Mealtimes were spent gulping down food in minutes before rushing off to the next activity. The drill sergeants kept yelling at the recruits as they learned how to properly make their beds, polish boots, and march in formation. Mistakes were met with more yelling or exhaustive punitive exercises. At night, Alice collapsed in bed but found it hard to sleep. She missed the comforting feeling of her hair on the pillow. The days blurred together in exhaustion. On Sunday, they were granted a brief respite from training. Alice sat on her bunk writing a letter home, feeling the stubble on her head. She still didn't recognize herself in the mirror, but was slowly adjusting to her military life. She found some solace in chatting with the other recruits, especially a girl named Eliza, who also had long hair before enlisting. They laughed together about funny drill sergeant stories, temporarily forgetting the aches and stresses. The brief break lifted Alice's spirits some before the second grueling week. She was changed forever from the girl who arrived crying just days earlier. But with her squadmate's support, she knew she could face whatever came next. The weeks of basic training started blending together as Alice fell into the demanding routine. Wake up, Inspection, exercises, marching drills, lessons on weapons and tactics, more exercise, then lights out at 21 o'clock sharp. Meals were wolfed down in a hurry before getting yelled at to hustle to the next activity. Free time was rare, usually just minutes to shower in the communal barracks bathroom. But Alice got through each exhausting day alongside her squad mates. Her body grew stronger, and she felt herself getting into the best shape of her life. She could now do dozens of push-ups without breaking a sweat. Her backpack felt lighter as they went on long marches across the rugged terrain. Shooting practice was one part Alice ended up enjoying. She had a knack for it that impressed even the drill sergeant. Lying there, 
rifle aimed steadily downrange, she could forget everything else for a moment and just focus. Alice did miss her long hair, though. The buzz cut was easy to maintain, but didn't feel feminine. She figured it was just one of many sacrifices required of a soldier. At least she had started personalizing her look, wearing a simple stud earring when regulations allowed. It made her feel more like herself. As basic training neared its end, Alice felt ready for whatever came next. She'd found inner strength she never knew she had. The army life still wasn't what she planned, but she was determined to serve with honor and commitment. It was a sunny morning at the army training camp when the new recruits were informed it was time for their induction haircuts. Alice lined up outside the barber shop, feeling anxious about losing her hair. Her name was called, and Alice took a seat in the faded barber chair. The stern barber fastened a paper cape around her neck and fluffed up her short cropped hair with his comb one last time. Say goodbye to this mop, he remarked gruffly. The barber clicked on the buzzing clippers and brought them straight to Alice's forehead. She squeezed her eyes shut as the teeth of the clippers chewed through her bangs, sending truncated locks falling. He steadily moved the clippers back across her head. With each pass, Alice's hair disappeared further into stubble. She grimaced as the clippers carved a path up the back of her neck, leaving it exposed. The barber tipped Alice's chin down to get the nape cleanly shorn. In a matter of minutes, Alice's hair was reduced to a faint dark shadow across her pale scalp. But the barber kept shaving repetitively with the clippers, removing any trace of stubble. Soon, the clippers skimmed smoothly over Alice's bare scalp. She sat there numbly as the last vestiges of hair were brushed away. All done, recruit. You're ready for duty, proclaimed the barber. Alice shakily ran her hand across her slick, shaved head, feeling utterly exposed. She no longer looked anything like herself. Blinking back tears, Alice stepped out to take her place among the other bald recruits, leaving her old identity behind. After a grueling year of training, today was Alice's graduation day. She lined up outside the familiar barbershop with her fellow recruits one last time. When her name was called, Alice sat down in the barber chair and unpinned her military cap, revealing her buzz cut. The barber tilted her chin up and fluffed the short hair on top with his comb. Final cut, time to go clean, he said. The buzz of the clippers punctured the air as the barber sheared away Alice's quarter-inch length hair. Her bristly locks disappeared with each swipe, leaving smooth skin behind. In a matter of seconds, Alice's buzz cut was reduced to stubble. The barber made pass after pass until the clippers grated right over her scalp. Alice closed her eyes as her head was shorn completely bare yet again. The barber wiped away any last traces of hair from Alice's gleaming scalp. All set, recruit. Well done, he remarked. Alice solemnly ran her hand over her shaved head, remembering her terrified first induction cut a year ago. Now she was a proud soldier, ready to serve. Alice stepped outside and changed but stronger, rejoining her fellow bald graduates as they commemorated completing their transformational training together. After the graduation ceremony, Alice packed up her belongings in the barracks for the last time. She neatly folded her uniforms, caressed her well-worn rifle, and took one final look at the spare, utilitarian bed that had been her home for the past year. Alice met up with some of the friends she had made during basic training. They laughed and swapped stories about drill sergeant antics while waiting for their next assignments. For now, their bald heads marked them as recent grads. When her orders came, Alice said bittersweet goodbyes to the other recruits. She boarded a transport that would take her to the next phase of her military career. Looking out the window, Alice watched the training grounds that had pushed her to her limits disappear from view. At her new post, Alice reported for duty, still getting used to being called private instead of recruit. The base felt huge and maze-like compared to the familiar barracks. She missed the camaraderie of being surrounded by fellow trainees. 
On her first day in uniform, Alice paused for a moment in front of the bathroom mirror. She straightened her posture and reminded herself how far she had come from that tearful, newly shorn girl a year ago. Though nervous, Alice knew she was up for the challenges ahead. She was ready to serve her country with honor and make her fellow graduates and drill sergeants proud. This was just the beginning. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the story I shared. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. Your feedback means a lot, so don't be shy. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It really helps the channel grow so I can keep making more videos for you all. Also, share this with your friends and family if you think they'd find it interesting, too. Spreading the word is such a big help. Let me know in the comments what kind of stories you want to hear in future videos. I'm open to suggestions, so if there's a topic you want covered or a story you want me to tell, just say the word. You all are the best, and I appreciate you watching. Can't wait to see you in the next video soon. Stay tuned.